I'm not gonna go by this one, it says. Okay, <laughs> we'll be taking notes. Um, I call to order the special meeting of the Vernon Common Council on Monday, February 18th, 2019 at 6 p.m. Um, we will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next we'll have the roll. Alderperson Cronin. Present. Alderperson Gaskell. Here. Alderperson Journey. Here. Alderperson Kemp. Here. Alderperson Cole. Here. Alderperson Posey? Here. Alderperson Rieke? Here. Alderperson Touche is absent and excused. Uh, thank you all. Um, next, we will move up to item four, public comment. Um, if anyone from the public wishes to speak. Not seeing anyone <laughs> um, coming up to the mic. Uh, so we'll move on to item five, new business. Uh, item A, we have discuss discussion and possible action regarding the recruitment of the city administrator. And I'd like Mitch, our uh, HR person, to give us a kind of overview of where we're at and timelines and how the recruitment could work. Sure. Thank you. Can you guys hear me okay? Yep. Yeah. Right. So in, in talking with Luke just a little bit about the, the recruitment plan, uh, we've kind of decided that that's a function that I can perform. Uh, just do have quite a bit of it, uh, recruitment experience just in my past previous roles. Um, in terms of specifics, I think we can get to the timeline and talk through that a little bit, but Luke and I were kind of talking about gathering input and trying to get as much input as we can from the council. Uh, and just kind of thinking through that, you know, one way that I think, I guess with, with my role in the recruitment process, I'll, I'll really be kind of taking care of creating that job announcement, posting it, sharing it, things like that. But um, in terms of the things we're gonna evaluate and, and the evaluation steps for our, for our candidates, um, those are things that I think we can get your input on. Uh, one way that I thought, you know, just in talking with Luke that we could probably do that is just over the next week or so, if, if the council wanted to kind of think of ideas, maybe knowledge, skills, training, experience, um, that that ideal candidate would have and you can just it doesn't have to be in a formal format or anything like that you can just send it to me and i'll pass my card through um over email and i can kind of compile that information uh and use that to really start developing some of our um recruitment materials and, and kind of helping the screening process if you will so from an input standpoint i think that's the first thing we wanted to cover does that make sense any questions here alder cole um, would it be possible for you to send us a, uh, the current position description? I have it, so I think, oh, okay. yeah, and I can send it electronically too, but I'll, and that way you guys will have my email and everything, so I think that works out. Uh, other questions or comments from the council? And, and I would just say, if I can too, with, with the input you're providing, you know, don't be afraid to, um, you know, get detail too about, you know, level, scope, role, responsibility. So let's say the, the skill or ability you're thinking of, you know, may, this, is, this is just an example, but the person needs to have experience with program management. You know, you can put that in a bullet point and just write out, you know, from start to finish or making sure they're delegating during this, you know, any notes I can compile because there's different phases of the recruitment process where we can work that in. And that's something that, you know, I can do and, and help with. And if I have questions, I might reach back out, but, um, you know, as specific or, or general as you want to be, um, I think it'll just be good to get everybody's input. Um, what do you think on the, the timeline? Like how long, you know, let's say we start in earnest, you know, February 25th, you know, you've compiled everything, talked to everyone, right? And, we, and then we kick it off. How long do you think it'll take before we're, I guess, before we're interviewing people and before we made the selection? Sure, so I think if I can get all of those materials by you know, the end of the day next Monday, um, you know, my thought would be to get it posted within a couple of days, get the position posted and recruited for. Um, and look, I think this was something, and this is 
will be a pretty big factor in the overall timeline, but you know, how long did we wanna have this published and posted for? And we had kind of talked about 30 to 45 days. Uh, any, I guess, I think, any, any thoughts, feedback on that, or maybe we can even kind of, you can add that into to your email response back to me, but um, I think 30 is a good minimum. Um, we could go more. Um, thoughts from the council? 30 days, 45, 60? Oh, other um, You're talking about like to have it posted to see how many people we get applying. Correct, that. yep. Uh, Alder Cole? Is um, in your experience is if you leave it open too long, do you just start getting an abundance of people that might not necessarily be qualified you have to sort through then? Would you recommend, like what, what was your recommendation really for the time we should leave it open? The, the biggest concern I have about posting it longer is, so we're gonna probably gonna be able to talk about this, but panels of, you know, getting kind of a panel to review the materials and then maybe first round, second round, we're gonna have a lot of people involved and I can help coordinate that as well. But my biggest concern is that qualified kind of active job seekers sometimes get picked up pretty quick. And um, I think 30 days is a, a good amount of time. I think this position's a little bit of a different story, but, but, but then when you start to kind of factor in the other steps that we may or may not kind of go through, uh, it can sometimes put, you know, especially government um, agencies at a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, so that's why I'm a little bit hesitant to go too long, but that's where, that's where the, the recruiting and having a good recruitment plan at the start uh, kind of comes in. So even kind of the last couple of days and just talking with Luke, we have a, a pretty good list and I think we'll keep developing it and syncing that up with, you know, right when that goes live, sharing the word, getting it out there. Um, I think that's how you can kind of minimize that problem. Uh, uh, Alder Curran? Where do you anticipate posting this? Are there multiple sites or professional organizations or? Yeah, yes, so uh, so far, I think we have, let's see, there was a few of them I had here. So I'll be doing, uh, I think Indeed was kind of the bigger one we looked at. So I was able to work with someone today. Um, and that's actually a free post. They can, they actually allow you to use their website to, to show the advertiser recruitment and it gets redirected to the, the site we use. But Indeed will be probably the biggest one where we'll get a lot of applicants. Uh, but we have League of Wisconsin Municipalities. Uh, CivMic is another uh, area we have. So WIS.jobs, which is the state job board, they also do local postings and then also local uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And that's one that they're gonna be able to post for us as well. And that they get a lot of, a lot of traffic to that site so, um, and, and their social media. I also have, let's see here, it's ICMA and WCMA. Um, here. We have kind of our own, own website, own Facebook. And if people too also have contacts or maybe it's alumni associations, things like that, just send me the email, I'll share the link. Uh, what else do we have here? The IIMC and WMCA, uh, I think it's the clerks, the municipal clerks uh, sites. So yeah, we have quite a few kind of listed out to start, but you know, if, if people have ideas to really kind of make it targeted, send me them and I'll get it figured out and posted. Uh, Alder Kemp? Um, to get an idea of what the last time <clears throat> we went through this process, Ellen and Luke, you were both here, and Heather, and do you get, and Evan, he's not here tonight, but do you remember how long or uh, how long you had it posted? I remember you guys went through, I think, two rounds for the search, so how long did it take in total? I don't have an exact timeline. Uh, maybe, do you, Alderiki, do you remember? It took months. I yeah. mean... Like I was gonna say like four months, is that right? So, I mean, I think that's something that's workable for sure. I mean, four months till the person even starts, I think would be a good target. But I think the big things are also going to be, you know, who is doing that initial screening and then of the resumes and cover letter, I guess. And then also being able to kind of line up and block time on calendars for different interview panel members. Um, that's gonna help me move it along quicker. And I think that's where a lot of time gets missed. So um, I think establishing, 
you know, who's going to be involved at what point and getting that information to me um, is going to be very important uh, to keeping us moving. And then there's always the, the reference checks, you know, that can sometimes be hard to get a hold of or get, you know, current supervisors. So that, there's kind of wiggle room there. But, you know, certainly four months is, is, I would say, doable, especially if we can kind of get things organized from the start. I did personally just feel like we were a little slow last time and it would be nice to, to keep it moving. I know there were some unique uh, challenges um, with recruitment last time, but I think I think a quick process would serve people, or at least where it keeps moving. Um, Alder Cole? How does the the panel system work? So are the Alders on a, an interview panel, or does it got through like the personnel committee first? How does the whole process work once you have narrowed it down, or I think that's how do we narrow we, it down? We can determine, that we can determine in general in the past i believe the whole council had input and i kind of I, I wouldn't want to turn anyone away because city admin is a really big deal for the city and so I, I would want anyone who wants to have a say in it to be able to have a say in it um we, we could potentially have initial screening done through the personnel committee and then when we bring people in for interviews basically we try to schedule around everyone's schedule um, i know the last time we had a sort of meet and greet with all the candidates uh at the senior center and 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 you know it was a chance for for and then there was, of course, a chance for the candidates to meet department heads and things like that. So it's very much, you know, we're, we're, we're trying, you know, to recruit people. They're trying to impress us. So it, it's a very um, get to know you kind of process. But I, I would want anyone who wanted to be involved to be involved. Okay. Do people, do people have preferences? Smaller committee, bigger committee? Any and and you can get involved at different parts, too, you know, right. whether it's the screening uh, or anything. I'm interested I'll, in being involved. Yeah. Alder Gaskell and then Alder Journey? Uh, well, I think it makes sense to have everyone involved we won't get that done in a month. So that's part of just recognition of if we trading off involvement for getting the process taken care of in less than six months. That's a fair point. Alder Journey? Um, in the, um, I think it's important that... Uh, uh, is your microphone? Oh, it's important that uh, city staff also be involved in the interviews. Yeah, Mitch, do you have some... Y yeah, and I think, I think that's something too where the part where that can get tricky is we want to make sure they're not applicants first too in some <laughs> ways so so you know that that gets hard to plan because you know we in some cases we might not know that until you know the job hosting comes down so with a city staff kind of getting involved i have some ideas just you know maybe that's more of in the interview process or or maybe you know second round interviews they meet with kind of a more standard interview panel where they're answering you know answering questions and then there's kind of a staff panel afterwards where it's just the di different department heads that get to kind of ask questions maybe a little more informal still job related things but um that's a way we could we could i guess address that issue uh other um speaking to that uh in the this input process that we're doing this week is that also being extended to department heads to offer some input on what they think a good candidate might look like? It could be. Uh, is that something that people are interested in? Yep. So. Yeah, I, I think, again, I think the, the other part to that too is just with, you know, if I'm using some of this stuff to kind of develop our screening, I guess our screening materials, they, they might have kind of an idea. I mean, in the end, it's, there's only, I guess, so many job related things that you know, we're probably gonna be testing on. But I mean, in, in the end, I think that's, that's your decision. Um, and we can, again, we can always get them involved with, you know, the interview stage too. Um, Alder Posey? Um, just in my opinion, I really think that gathering that information from as many people at this point to fi figure out what are those qualities we're looking for and letting that dictate what our process is. Because then once we know what exactly we're looking for, mm -hmm. whether we're doing large panels or smaller groups to interview first to find those qualities initially mm -hmm. um, so we're not getting so stuck in the weeds that we don't find that right person doesn't come to the top because we're looking for one quality too early in the process and not a different one. Um, so kind of looking at what between the staff and all of us okay. are saying from that perspective. That's so. Okay. Uh, Alder Cole? Um, I've had quite a bit of experience um, hiring as well and um, I found as far as like in my experience the initial screening process is best done if you have like you know, like a rating system like you have your KSAs your knowledge skills and abilities and you're like here's our top and you go through you have like a smaller group vet 
those and you kind of like rate them and if they get like a 90 or above or whatever the rating panel or scale is then that can go to like the larger group and that would be a way to like hone the process in and keep it shorter and really focus in then on the candidates for interviews that um, really do have the skills um, and abilities that we're actually looking for. Correct. Yeah, and I think that's and when I and I should maybe clarify that that initial screening group, the ones looking at the res, that in, in my mind that would be that first scoring. So what I will do is I'll develop some sort of scale. So you know maybe depending on the maybe depending on the applicant pool size, it might be a number scale, it could be a pass fail, something like that. But yes, and then we could take the top 10 or something like that, we make that decision. Um, and that way we're not locked into interviewing or inviting you know, 65 people in to interview <laughs> with two panels of five people. You know, it's a lot of time. So, so yeah, in, in the scale, the way those scales work, sometimes it, it's helpful to kind of see what we're testing on first to kind of make that. You can be strategic with it too, like what types of skills make this person you know, here's some minimum things and then this makes them go to the top and that's why I'm kind of you know the skill I want to see or the, the skills I want to see from everybody but then you know expanding on that like what's really gonna you know, is there something that's gonna set this person they might have that minimum qualification but you know he, this is something that might get them higher and and I'll do my best to kind of get all that all of that compiled and, and about using our evaluation process do you think you'd be able to have all that stuff ready in time for the council meeting on Monday so we could kind of have the knowledge and then make a sort of decision on, on how we can move forward. So are we are we asking everybody to to have their um, feedback by Monday? Yeah, or Friday. Friday. Probably by Friday, Friday I would Friday. think. Okay. Yeah, we, are, we don't want to drive you insane. By <laughs> no, that, yeah, no, that's fine. That's that's <laughs> fine. Um, but yeah, if Friday would be helpful. Yeah, because it'll just probably take a while to kind of read through some of it, but. Friday is perfectly fine and you know I, I think to you know as we go through the process I don't know if there is you know later on one point of contact too I can ask for clarification something like that if somebody wants to be the chair that that might help but once we get all that input from everybody um, I'll be able to kind of compile it and go from there um, I think yeah if you're uh, this will make more sense once we have the process laid out but I mean if you're going for a point person I'd say either the personnel chair Alder Gaskell or myself as the mayor or okay. both of us um, and then, of course, obviously, with, with email, it's easy to go back to if you're, you know, Correct. confused yeah. about someone's input, you can just go right back to them and say, I don't get this. Uh, other issues? Do you think it'd be a good idea to send us this preliminary list that you made with the mayor? Uh, uh, so that we're not the timeline? just... Or... Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I would say send whatever information you feel oh, is okay. more or less final. Yeah, I think just because some of it we're kind of mapping out here, I didn't have dates in it necessarily, but I can kind of map it out after this discussion of kind of what our timeline would work or kind of look like in the major steps. Right. Other thoughts from the council? Anything else to add, Mitch? Do you feel like you have enough to? Yeah, I, I really, I really think you know, just sending me those those skills or those you know abilities, training, things like that. Also, even throughout the process, if you think of a place where I can share the link that you know there might be qualified candidates, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll get it done. Um, and then also I think with the, the timeline um, that we were just kind of talking about, what I can maybe do is project you know, what those, interview, those weeks of interviews would be. Um, and then maybe if people wanted to kind of commit either way or kind of look at their calendars to see and just hold that time I think um, that would be helpful as well. Excellent. Oh, Alder Carmen? Um, this is farther down the line, but um, since I'm assuming that there may be more interest than just have people in the greater Madison area, um, do we have any requirement as to if we were to make an offer, how soon or how quickly the person would have to be able to be in that position? Not that I know of. I mean, that, I that's completely up to us. Yeah. So we are, I mean, if, if it's, you know, I think that's the kind of thing, at least in my opinion, could be negotiated where if it's like, if it's a month or two difference, that's fine. But if someone's like, well, I can't start until next year, it's like, all right, we're probably gonna have to go with someone else then. Mm -hmm. and I presume, I presume in the job description, we'd, we'd have an anticipated start date. So presumably people applying would know that that's what we're hoping for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Or at least some general. Yeah, estimated start date is you know middle of whatever 
April, what, May, whatever it would be. Oh, they're cool. How would it work if we did have out-of-state applicants as far as the interview process? Would they be required to come here in person, or would we provide some kind of like Skype interview? Um, have you ever done anything like that in the past? Mitch? That, that's a good question. So we can do Skype. I mean, I've done Skype before, but it, I mean, that's more of a preference. Um, I think I would defer probably to the to the chair. I, I you know, we Skype's I, doable. I think for a first interview, that's perfectly logical. But definitely, anybody who is coming through the final cut, we need to meet face to face. And probably, I would anticipate it be more than just us. I would like them to even do, you know, a presentation to the staff or something like that. Just try and get as much coverage and experience for that person. That I, that's what makes sense to me. So. Okay. Other thoughts? All right, uh, we'll be talking about this again next week. Um, and next we will move on to- uh, Mr. Mayor. Yep, oh, sorry. Um, if we can get some sort of summary of what did happen last time sent to us, you know, what was the general, how it went last time? I know we had a consultant on board, but there, I'm hoping there's some sort of record somewhere that could be shared with the rest of us. Um, do you wanna see what you can find, Mitch? So I've, I've been looking, but I will continue to look. <laughs> Okay, last chance. All right, I'll uh, move on to uh, uh, 5B, discuss discussion and possible action regarding the appointment of an interim city administrator. Um, does anyone want to say anything um, or do, should we move into closed session? I expect we'll have probably some sort of declaration after the closed session. Comments, motion? Do we know who it is? Well, th that's what we would kind of just talk about in closed session and then, you know, what we're going to offer them and this and that, and then coming out of open session, if we extended an offer, we would, you know, say it publicly so everyone could know. Alder Gaskell. I'll make a motion to go into closed session to discuss the uh, appointment of an interim city administrator. Is there a second? Second. A second by Alder Kent? Alder, Alder Gaskell? Yeah, I need to pull up the language, so just <coughs> give me a second, please. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. Common Council may convene in a closed session for discussion and permissible action regarding appointment of an interim city administrator as authorized by section 19.85 parent 1 parent C of the Wisconsin statutes to consider employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee subject to the jurisdiction or authority of the city of Verona. Common Council may reconvene an open session to discuss and take action on the subject matter discussed in the closed session. And it was seconded by Alder Kemp. Uh, this will be a roll call vote. Alder Kemp? Alder Journey? Aye. Alder Kemp? Aye. Alder Cole? Aye. Alder Posey? Aye. Alder Rieke? Aye. Alder Cronin? Aye. Alder Gaskell? Aye. Um, and if no one has any uh, objections, I'd like Mitch to stick around since he's HR and you want to keep him in the loop? Okay.
Okay. Um, Alder Gaspar? Yes, I'd like to make a motion, please, to appoint Adam Sayer as interim city administrator upon signature of the interim city administrator agreement. Motion by Alder Gaspar. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alder Kemp. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Um, and we have a new interim city admin um, as soon as Adam signs the agreement. Um, I just wanted to, to, to say two things. One, it is an interim uh, position, um, but Adam is the city administrator and he'll be functioning with all the authority of the city administrator. Um, two, I think Adam's going to be great at this job as, as a city planner. He, he's proven even tempered in a tough, high pressure um, position. He's been very easy to work with. He gets a lot of stuff done. He's a professional. So I think I think this is, he, he will be a very, very good interim city admin. Um, does anyone else have any other comments? Seeing none, a motion to adjourn would be in order. So moved. Motion by Alder Cole, is there a second? Second. Second by Alder Riki. All those in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. And we are adjourned at 643, thank you.